fact you step out the vehicle, sir, for lawful order. It's not like I'm actually I'm gonna search you. I'm gonna ask you to step out the vehicle and have a conversation. We could have a conversation here. No, because I don't feel safe that you're in this vehicle. I, bro, I don't I don't understand what you I don't I don't feel safe with you sitting in this vehicle. I want you to stand right here. Well, I don't feel and talk safe stepping out there. Why don't you step out here, sir? Because you guys why? kill people all the time. We say we kill people all the time. All right, folks, we have another video that was sent to our email. The subject reads, Unprofessional Hostile Chicago Police Interaction. Message reads, Hey, SJVT, had these pigs trying to accuse me of buying dope yesterday. Here's the video. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, you might want to do that now. We get a lot of exclusive videos that are sent to us. Our email is recordpolicenow at gmail.com. You guys will find a lot of new videos here first. This one comes to you from Shy Town Gorilla's channel. As of right now, he only has 47 subscribers, so let's help his sub count go up. Let's watch this video. We'll pause for some comments, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Can I get it? It's right here. Stop by Chicago PD, guys. Uh, need insurance? Yeah, what was your insurance? Can I get it? Step out. No, step out. I don't gotta step out. Yes, yes you, you do. This step is a out. lawful detainment now. Step out of the step vehicle, out. sir. What's the probable cause? I just told you so probable cause. You want me to tell you more? What did I tell you? You said you seen me buy dope. Okay. What gives you right to search me, though? Because I saw you do a hand to hand. Now step out the car. I don't. Yeah, step out, man. Cause I'm a, I'm I want to supervise. No, 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 no. You're not getting a supervisor. I, I'm asking you to step out. I need a supervisor. No, you're not. I'm sorry. You're going to make it worse than what it is. You're going to make it worse than what it is. He talking about a supervisor. He got the dope on him. He talking about a supervisor. I ain't got no dope on me. What? He talking about a supervisor. I ain't got shit on me. He don't want to step out. You want to come holler at him? Yeah, I got everything. That's why, man, you, I'm, I'm the only one you let, about to let him pull off. I was just sitting here for a job. I gave him, he got my license, one of them. You have any weapons that in the bro. I was just measuring to get the perimeter for roofing. Is there a reason why you're acting so nervous? Calm down. Because he, he ran up on me. We kill people all the time. And we bring guns to every encounter. So why are you acting nervous? Cops are trained to say things like this, folks. And they know exactly what to write in the paperwork. So when it goes to court, it makes you look bad. And it makes them look like great cops. Make sure you know your rights, folks. And make sure you're recording because these cops will absolutely destroy you. He's talking about pull out with his taser pointing at me. Yeah, the taser pointing at you. Well, when I was first about to pull off. You know what? That's what I'm saying. You fucked up. How did I fuck up? Because you don't have a taser. You're lying. Well, he pointed something at me. What did he point at you? He don't, you just lied. I don't know. Okay, whatever. I lied. He's about watch. Yeah, all right. I'm going to stop at the vehicle. Come here. Let me talk to you right there. Come back here. We're not going to search your vehicle. Come I want a supervisor. What do you need a supervisor for? I don't mind search, I'm not searching your vehicle, sir. I want to talk to you about what you just said about this officer. So we're not going to search your vehicle. I want you to step down and talk to him like a man. Understand me? We're not going to search you, sir. I want to have a conversation with you. What's your name? Andrew. What's Andrew. What's I don't name? feel comfortable stepping out. Excuse me? I don't feel comfortable stepping out. You understand if I tell you something about the vehicle, that's a lawful order. You understand that? You understand that, right? If I actually step out the vehicle, I never said I'm going to search your vehicle. If I actually step out the vehicle, sir, it's a lawful order. It's not like I'm actually, I'm going to search you. I'm going to ask you to step out the vehicle and have a conversation. We could have a conversation here. No, because I don't feel safe that you're in this vehicle. I, bro. I don't, I don't understand what you, I don't, I don't feel safe with you sitting in this vehicle. I want you to stand right here. Well, I don't feel talk safe stepping out there. Why don't you stop out here, sir? Because you guys why? kill people all the time. We said we kill people all the time. What do you mean by that, sir? Please. You said, you, you said this officer pointed a taser at you. Is that correct? Is that right. what you I'm just keeping my mouth shut. Did you just not say that? Did you say that? Yes or no, sir? Because I'm, I'm, I'm a point. I plead the said, fifth. You plead the fifth about you telling the officer point a taser at you. Sir, do you have a taser on you, sir? No. Are you equipped with a taser? Nope. Are you equipped with a taser, sir? Nope. Okay, so which officer did that? Right, so I, I, I don't know. I'm you know, not you, just, you literally just told me this officer pulled a taser on you. Did you not tell me that? Yeah, I did, because I, I thought I seen someone point something at me when I was about to pull off. Okay, so what you're telling Maybe me? Maybe I guess okay. I was wrong. So you, made, so you made a mistake. Just be honest, you made a mistake. Yeah, okay. I made a mistake. I understand that. Mr. Cops are trained to never admit or apologize when they're wrong because it's an admission of guilt and they can be sued. But this cop here wants you to admit that you've been wrong. Police hypocrisy 101, folks. 
to Vizio. Vizio, okay, Mr. V, you say you're here for a job, is it correct? Yeah. What job were you here for, sir? I'm not talking anymore, sorry. Okay. Well, he doesn't want to talk anymore, sir. So what do you recommend we do with this? I'm legal, I gave you my license, my insurance. Sir, next time we're gonna take you out the car. You hear me? For what? Yeah. For we what? We gave you a lawful order. Listen, Mr. Vizio. Yeah. So that, is that the officer, Mr. Vizio? What? What's your name and badge oh, number? That's what you want. Mr. Vizio. Cal Lejeune. What's your badge number? Mr. 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 DeVizio, how you doing, sir? I'm good now. Listen, sir, calm down. See, you guys just try to violate my rights. Talking about pull me out the car. No, sir, I don't want to pull out the car, sir. I ain't buying dope. Mr. Vizio, look. Mr. Vizio. You mad, huh? Mr. Vizio. Have a great day, sir. All right, you listen, too, man. I, listen, I appreciate you being be cool safe, and cordial. Right, Can I get your name and badge number? I'm Officer Robinson, man. Okay? I'm Robinson. Uh, hey, you got to be cool. Well, Shane, he's going to get you in trouble, man. I want you guys. Look, I want you he's about safe. to pull me out the car no, talking sir. about searching me. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. He was going to. Can I get my license? Yeah, sit down, sir. Mr. Vizio, I'll put your license. Thank you. See, you know he's being recorded. Man. He's smart He'd be safe, sir. All right, I appreciate you. Well, I didn't close your door away. I know. Thanks. Be safe, man. So you gotta stand your fucking ground, and I'm glad I fucking finally did it. Talking about I'm buying dope over here. Suck my. What do you guys think would have happened if he wasn't recording this interaction? Keep in mind that this wasn't a traffic stop, folks. They decided to walk up to him and demand ID. If it weren't for channels like mine, would this guy have known what to do and what to say? It is imperative that you guys know your rights. They didn't teach us our rights in school, and they're not teaching our rights to police in the academies. What does that mean, folks? Unless you know your rights, unless you know what your freedoms are, you don't have any. And cops are trained to get you to give up your rights voluntarily. Don't do it, folks. Cops are not your friend. Did you guys hear what the man just said? I was finally able to stand up for myself, and it felt good. I gotta tell you guys something. When I started recording police and holding them accountable, that made me want to walk a straighter line than I ever did before. But the fear of police leaving my body as I pull out a camera and start to record, there is no greater feeling that I have ever felt when it comes to being empowered. It is an empowerment, folks. Trust me on that. With that being said, make sure you guys go subscribe to Shy Town Gorilla's channel, a newer channel. One of the things that I like to do is motivate you guys to pick up a camera, start recording, start a channel. Reach out to us at recordpolicenow at gmail.com. We will help your channels grow. We will help you hold your communities to a higher standard. Your public officials, they will know that the people are watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to my channel. We get a lot of exclusive videos that are sent to us. You will see a lot of new channels here first. All right, folks, we'll see you on the next video if you hit the bell. Peace.